Just want to give a quick mention to a script from Sock Monkey. It's called MOM Toggle Mouse Modifier Toggle Action Generator. This is from Sock Monkey. I don't want to say that I inspired him to make this, but it seemed to come out around the time that I was having problems with some stuff. So this is a free script. And what this does is create presets for all of your mouse modifier settings. And once you have a preset created, you can also build toggle or one-shot actions to set your mouse modifiers within custom actions or scripts. So I use this to rebuild my fast and normal edit modes. So this came up a while ago. Let's start from the beginning. Mouse modifiers, you know what these are, right? These are whatever happens when you hold shift or command or shift command, left drag, left click, double click, etc. There is an import export thing here built in, but you got to open the preferences and then do it. So the MOM script, this allows you to load those presets from here. And I've got a couple different presets. And as you, after you make a preset, um, you can build toggle actions or one-shot actions. There's a couple of settings here as well. This is mostly for appearance. And there's the filter here, so you can limit the preset to just a certain scope. And once you've created an action, you can also update them here. I have talked about this before, and um, Mike Robinson has also talked about fast edit mode for editing drums. I don't know if Mike is still in the chat, but if he is, he might need to pay attention to this going into Reaper 7. Mouse modifiers, we kind of know them. It's a bit of a pain to change these things while we're in the middle of working. So in the action list, there is, there's these actions for setting default mouse modifier. There's, there's a few hundred of these, but these are going away in Reaper 7. Each of these actions just changes the default action for each of these categories for dragging, clicking, things like that. If you want to use those, these in custom actions in Reaper 6, no problem. Reaper 7, it's going to be a problem. So this script is going to resolve that issue, or should. Let's find my fast edit mode. Custom fast edit mode. Split selected items edit cursor with crossfade on left. Enable auto crossfade on split. Enable auto crossfades. Disable snapping, and then John's fast edit mode mouse map, which is just recalling this preset for the entire mouse modifiers. I didn't use the filter here to limit it. Fast edit mode, I'll enable it here by right clicking on my fast edit toolbar button, which I can't find. There it is. So, fast edit mode, it will split at the top of an item, it will slide the contents of an item at the bottom, and if I'm dragging at the top, it moves it. Um, and if I have a crossfade, I can shift drag to slide that crossfade around. That's what fast edit mode does. And then normal edit mode puts things back to normal where I click on the top or the bottom and it moves. So essentially, it's a shortcut so that when I click on an item, it splits it there with the crossfade on the left, and then I can slide the contents of the item. It's kind of a fancy editing tool that I use, made popular by Adam Wathen years ago, but sort of tweaked to my preferences and as Reaper updated, made it better. I mean, that's a workflow that I've been using for like 13 years. So it's um, kind of important to me that I I can keep using it. Fast edit mode runs that series of actions every time I left click. And normal action puts it back to default. What it's doing these days, um, instead of setting the mouse modifiers for the, was it left uh, click default item, um, whatever it is. I forget what it what it was exactly. But setting the, the mouse modifiers from these separate actions, it's now just loading these two presets. Loading this preset or loading this preset in the mouse modifiers.
This is something that I might also need for MIDI editor, but I think I've resolved it with scripting separately. So yeah, uh, I will put in a link in the description to this script where you can get that. Um, it's in Repack. I'll put it that in the chat as well. I think this is going to be something that's useful for uh, Reaper 7 or really just any time you want to um, manage your mouse modifiers. Uh, Gemx, why are they going away? So uh, I guess you mean the mouse modifier default actions? Just that there's like a thousand actions and it, there's sort of like a, a burden of keeping them maintained. Most new users don't ever need to change their mouse modifiers frequently, like within actions. So relying on scripting or some other tool, well, I guess scripting is still the way that we're doing it. Um, either writing scripts or using a mouse modifier manager like the one I just showed, that's going to be the way to, to handle that going forward. There's also one Reaper 7 feature to do it, but it's not going to cover all situations, I don't think. Uh, and especially not for MIDI. I think it's just to clean up the action list. I use a paint and pencil tool in MIDI editor. Mouse modifiers aren't going away, just those default actions in the action list. So if you use different modifiers for paint and pencil tool, then that's fine. But if you're using the same modifier for both of those and an action to toggle them, then you'll you'll probably need that script. But if you're using like shift for paint and command shift for pencil or or default for pencil, then you're fine. It's it's really just um, the function for creating toggles or changing the modifiers in the middle of actions is what's uh, what's being taken away. 